uh, by the way, I'm really sorry about how bad my hair is, but it was really sad to see Bismuth, one of the best Kwin tiling script out there, stop working on the release of Kili Plasma 5.27. Really sad, especially since this Plasma release brought new tiling functionalities that were supposed to allow scripts to do even cooler stuff. Luckily, it was only a matter of time before someone some awesome person would use this API to bring back our favorite features. And this is exactly what happened. The name is Polonium and it's an unofficial successor to Bismuth for the latest KD Plasma on Wayland. So big question now, does it work well? Is it of any use? So it's extremely promising. It does integrate with KDE's tiling system. That is, you can press Meta T to see all of the tiles and you can resize them. And the size changes will immediately apply to the window underneath as well, which is really nice. You can also through KDE's UI create new tiles. If you do that, windows will adapt to the size of these new tiles. However, support for adding new tiles is currently limited and actually adding new windows will immediately reset your configuration. So I hope that in the future, adding and removing tiles will, will have a more long lasting effect on the tiling manager. Let's say that you have a floating window and you again want to tile it. So Polonium nicely integrates with the Kwin Home Styling System, which uses the meta shift to preview where your window is gonna end up being tiled. So you can choose a tile and the window will be indeed added there. If you instead try to move with a mouse any window, it will switch from tiling to floating and all other windows will change their position and place accordingly. Which raises an important question. That is, how can I quickly swap the position of tiled windows? With other scripts, I was used to just drag and drop the window from where I it was to where I wanted it tiled. But that makes the whole window switch from to floating, which completely messes up with the layout. So sadly enough, there is no simple way to do that through the mouse. Instead, they are there are key bindings for this. They're quite standard, uh, meta to move focus, control meta to swap windows, meta shift to push a window into a tile. For some reason, they did not work on my computer at all, but I actually dislike tiling shortcuts entirely, so it's not a big loss for me. It's probably some weirdness going on with the shortcut system settings module, I don't know. So we do have some options to configure Polonium. You can decide to go with the whitelist approach, which uh, will only tile a certain list of windows that you can set. And to be fully honest, I do not see what's the use case here, and I'm really curious. So uh, if you can tell me in the comments, I would be very happy. The rest of the options are really confusing, and I had to open the documentation to understand them. So I would really suggest that the developers tweak them. So we have tile pop-up windows to decide whether pop-ups should be tiled or not. A drop-down right next to it, which is actually its own option and has nothing to do with pop-ups and, um, and has no text to ex actually explain what it does, which is it allows you to decide whether you want the borders for the tiled windows or not. The options are just as confusing. You have no border all, which means that no window is going to get a border, floating or tiled. No border tiled, me meaning that tiled windows won't have borders. Border selected, I have no idea what this is. And border all, meaning that all windows will have a border. So, yeah. You then have invert selection, which is not on the documentation and the name tells me nothing of what it is. On the right, we have another unrelated option called uh, keep tiled below, which will, when enabled, uh, always keep the floating uh, windows above the tiled ones. And I would really suggest again to change the labels to something that is more understandable and to give each option its own row as putting two options side by side will make people think that they are somehow related. Finally, we can change the tiling engine. There are three out of the box on my computer, but five on the documentation, I don't know why. The first one is breadth first binary tree engine. 
A second one is half, which puts one main window on the left and several to the right. And finally, we have floating, which basically turns off polonium. This is relevant as we can switch between these styling engines on a per desktop basis and the floating option basically allows you to set a desktop where polonium is turned off whilst still having the tiles in the other desktops, which is good stuff. This is everything that the styling script offers. It's not as complete as some other options and there are uh, some issues still. As an example, you can easily tile back a window if you only have the other one other tiled window. The meta shift trick just won't work in that scenario. If you're a fan of some lighter tiling, you might still be interested in Exquisite, another great tiling tool that works super nicely in 5.27. It allows you to press meta alt D, opens up a dialog with various tiling options, and then you just pick where uh, you would like to place the window. However, similarly to Kevin's own tiling, this does not do auto tiling. Do let me say that it's it's quite surprising just how fragmented the KDE tiling scripts scenes is. You would expect over the years and years the improvements to be slowly converging towards one main script. And yet, with Cronkite, Bismuth, and now Polonium, it feels like every couple of years the main KDE tiling script changes. I wonder if this is because of us KDE developers not providing a good enough API or something. It's not clear to me exactly what the issue could be, to be fully honest. But if we want to make a comparison with Bismuth, and we kind of have to, given that Polonium wants to be an unofficial successor, there's lots of very cool things that Bismuth had and that I, that I miss. As an example, Bismuth had its own page in KDE system settings, which, which is a great example of good integration with KDE Plasma, with a lot of options, including GAPS as an example. Other things that were on the roadmap for Bismuth were, as an ex another example, a tray item to toggle tiling on and off, similarly to PopOS. And in fact, I would love to see a full-fledged applet in the system tray that showcases all tiling options and allows for quick toggle on and off. Of course, this is a high bar to set and Polonium didn't even exist just a few weeks ago. So with this video, I really don't want to put any unnecessary stress over the developer. I think the work they're doing is great and I really wanted to share my opinion on what I think it does really well and what I think it could improve on and uh, what I think could be cool stuff to work on in the future to make this the Kitty Tiling script. So as I like to do when I highlight these cool projects, all of the revenue of this video will be redirected to the developer's Ko-Fi page, which is in the description of this video go check it out. They say that they need the donations, so I'll try to help out with what I can. If you instead want to contribute to my channel to keep all of this going, please do actually. Doing these videos not only takes a lot of time, but also a lot of money in editing and equipment. I do have Patreons and Ko-Fi, and I do offer rewards to those who contribute. I am lagging behind with the posts and the podcasts, but I'll be soon back with um, regular posting them regu regularly. I can't speak today. So if you can and haven't already, I would love a little tip to reach my monthly 700 bucks goal. So thanks everybody for following and I am out.